We can alter the design of our spark lines. So having been given the choice of line, column or win-lose, you can then customize even further. If we take our fruit and sales data spark lines, these are the spark lines that we've created previously. And you can select a single spark line. It will activate the spark line tools design ribbon and you can bring that up and we are then able to make a number of changes. Just one thing to point out, these spark lines here were created individually and are therefore editable individually. The ones down the right here were created as a group and what you'll find if you click in is it's the group that is selected, even though you can select individual elements of that group, any changes are then made to the whole group. So you don't have to physically highlight them all, you just need to select anyone in the range and anything we do will then affect the whole group. Things that we can do are change the colour scheme involved. These are both defaulted to blue. So even though we've got a bar, high, low or a line, the default is blue. On the Sparklines tools design ribbon, we can click this little style drop down and choose a different default colour. So we could choose an orangey colour there, for example, or a greeny colour, or a darky red colour. Darky red colour is quite nice. On your darky red colour bar charts, we can ask for the high point to be highlighted. And you can see one tick there means the highest value then gets sort of marked out. And you can do the same with the low point. So the low point gets marked out quite thin because it's a low value. You can get the first point marked out and the last point marked out. Now that's quite a lot of markings. You would either choose one or the other. So if we stick with the high point, for example. Having chosen the high point to be marked out, it currently by default just chooses a different tint of the same colour. So although we've got this sort of ready brown, this is just a tint of the same colour. We have control over that as well. We go across to marker colour, high point. Instead of sticking with the tint colour given, we could choose our own colour. So perhaps we could go with a sort of dark green for the high point. And that makes it stand out even more because it's not just a tint of the default colour. You'll notice under the marker colour that you can colour in any of the high point, low point, first point or last point options. Obviously they need activating over here in the show, but then in this little option is where you then change their color. As well as changing the color, you can change the style. Here's our quick option for changing to a win loss style or a line style. Notice that even though we're changing between the styles, the color scheme remains and the fact that we've selected high point remains and the colour of the high point. It's just that on the line graph, it's a little dot. On the column, it's that bar. And on the win loss, it's that part of a bar because we're just in the win section. We turn to the column. Now, these other options here, the line options, you'll only be affecting one of them. So we could change that one to sort of reddish colour. We can change that one to yellow. We could change that one to black because they've been generated as separate spark lines rather than a grouping spark line that we have here so that column one there would be changed on its own and we could perhaps mark out the low points there you can see that at the bottom now currently grayed out our markers because we have a column style chart here but if we look at our share values these are again they're a group because they were created in one go these have markers available to them and a marker is effectively the data point. So because we're mapping 12 points here, there should be 12 little markers on the graph. And we can choose different style for that marker. So different color mix and line color, that one there, blue and orange. And we can control the marker color. So we could have our own color anyway, I quite like purple. So a little purple markers, whereas the sparkline color itself could be sort of goldy color. So that's only available on line spark lines is to add the marker. So you have a degree of customization over how your spark line is presented.